All right, I'll, I'll pull that day for you. When you come out, I'll have it for you. All right, Steph. Come on in. Hi there. Hi. Stephanie Bear with the ADP. Nice Stephanie, to meet you. Great to meet you. Can I have a seat? Thank yeah, you. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my business card in case Very after good. today you have any questions and or want to follow up with me. Is it okay if I take a couple notes with our meeting today? No. No? Of course. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Has anybody ever said no to you when you ask that? Um, no. <laughs> they typically always say yes. Okay. Um, so basically, I just wanted to come in and congratulate you on expanding your new business. Yeah, it's been about six months now. So, me being a entrepreneurial minor when I was at UCF. Um, oh, you're I, a UCF grad? Yes. Okay, I, I actually think that's quite amazing to me, myself, being of the entrepreneurial spirit. So, congratulations on that. Um, so basically, uh, being at UCF, I was able to do that. and. Um, a lot of the projects and things that we did had to pertain to that, so that's really great that you were able okay. to expand right. so quickly. Now we're kind of limited, but I only got about 20 minutes. Okay. I, my wife is not here tonight. She is home with the kids, so you're going to have to suffer through me. Okay. So at some point, would she have to be involved, or would oh, you yeah. say? Well, this is her part of the business. She asked me to have a meeting. She apparently had a conversation with you. Mm -hmm. She said, look, sit down, talk to the lady. That's why I'm here. Okay. So, so I guess... my attention. I guess at this point, so make obviously 20 minutes is still the time frame that's going to work for you today. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, um, at our, for our meeting today, what I'd like to do is kind of ask you a few questions and kind of assess your business and see if there's anything that ADP could provide for you to kind of help you out. Sounds fair. All Shoot, right. Quiet. So basically, I guess being the owner. Um, Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I started that. You're good. <laughs> Uh, being the owner, can you tell me a little bit about your role as the owner of your business? I'm a doctor. Uh, okay. I am dealing with patients all day long, and then after work, I've got a business to run. Okay. And so... So I only work half days, about 12 hours a day. Okay, and then you had mentioned that your wife is the one that's basically in charge of doing... She does HR, bookkeeping, some admin stuff. Okay. You know, the, some of the marketing, that's what her job is. Okay, and then does she typically work full-time or part-time? Got her here full-time. Okay. <laughs> And so as far as your payroll is concerned, is she the one doing all of that? Yep. How exactly are you processing your payroll? Um, uh, she's got a program, I think it's a Microsoft Dynamics okay. program, um, and she just, you know, a lot of people are on a standard weekly amount, you know, based X number of hours, we pay them for 37 and a half hours a week, and, and they just, you know, it's just, if she runs the payroll, occasionally there's some hourly stuff to deal with. Okay, and so are you doing the payroll weekly or bi-weekly? Bi-weekly. Okay, bi-weekly. Um, and are there area, any other areas of your business that, that you would be able to see her kind of spending more of her time if it wasn't processing Oh, the if payroll? she wasn't doing the payroll, she'd be home with the kids. Okay, so she's kind like of just a couple the... Of days a week. <laughs> it would free up about two days a week, actually, if she could okay. do that. So two days a week she'd be able to have food. And she was like f about 15 hours a week, I think she's spent. Okay, and then currently I know that you just recently expanded. Are you looking to expand in the future? Well, we've got the, we have opened the second location. We've still got five or six people to add. we got to build a location. We're looking at a third location, but it's in the distance. It's either late this year, next year. Um, that's based upon cash flow and how the second location does. Okay, and so is there anything holding you back other than seeing how, obviously, the progression of the second location is going? Get that one up and back? running, make it profitable before you open the third. Okay, perfect. Um, is there anything else at the top of mind that I haven't really discussed with you today that would be stopping you from basically discussing anything further with the ADP and possibly doing payroll with you? Well, I need to know what you do and how you're going sure. to save me money. Okay. But it's all, I'm a bottom line guy. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that you're definitely interested in what, what our prices are going to be for you in the you know, process We're going to get there, yeah. Okay, so with that in mind, um, I can go ahead and tell you a little bit about ADP and what we go have right to ahead. offer. Go right I'll start and begin over here. Basically, ADP, we're a company not just strictly in payroll anymore. So, like yourself, you're an independent, independent business owner. We also started as a smaller business as well. So we started actually doing punch clocks when we first started ADP. So just like anything else, we've kind of progressed with the time. So now everything's kind of digital, making it easier for you to process payroll regardless of where you are, whether you're at your business, at home, on your phone, at lunch. Um, but we also have HR services as well. So the more you expand into your different employees levels of getting more employees on as staff, we can also help you kind of manage that as well. 
Um, also help you kind of look for qualified em employees. You can post job listings and things of that nature on that app as well. So we kind of cover a wide variety in that regard. Um, specifically with payroll, um, is there anything that you're, have you ever experienced any kind of inconveniences or fees when it's come to payroll, specifically with taxes or the IRS? We had one thing where we screwed some up about four years ago, but it was a r an isolated incident. It's only happened once. Okay. Well, with ADP, the nice thing with our services is that if that does ever ha happen or occur to you again in the future, if you were using our services, we would cover the cost of that. So you wouldn't have to incur any fees or taxes from the IRS, mainly because we actually have an integrated system where all of the information that we provide and get from the IRS is updated automatically. So you're up to date with all of those standards and procedures and regulations. Mm -hmm. So that's nice um, as well. Um, like I said, we're both pe we're people management, we're risk management, and we're also cash management. Mm -hmm. um, so as far as doing anything else in your company, we could probably start in the payroll area, and then if you needed to, as you expanded, work into the HR area as well. Um, okay. So I guess from here on in, you were kind of concerned with the pricing, and so each level of pricing we have, I have a couple of things here for you. There's a brochure, and then down here you could also see the different levels of pricing. So currently at your different we have locations. About 35 employees. Total. Okay. And so that's one location or both locations? Two locations combined. Okay. And so how are you actually filing with the IRS? Are those two separate entities? No, we have one actually one tax ID number. Okay, perfect. So basically if we're looking at the the thirty five employee range that would put you right about here. Right. So you're going through and so every time you process your payroll it'd be fifty eight ninety five. So per, if you wanted to employee Per, per process. So if you're doing bi-weekly, you're doing that every time you process that payroll for all of your employees. So roughly 118 bucks a month. Correct. Okay. Depending on, you know, if that's the frequency of your payroll. No, so if you're doing bi-weekly. That's, no, that's actually a good point. Yeah. And so then obviously in the future, if you wanted to look into the, into the HR services as well, that's just strictly for the payroll services. Okay. What does the HR service give me that the uh, payroll does not? The HR services will provide you with not only a dictionary of terms and things like that. So if someone comes up to you and they're asking you about you know, specific things in HR, you'll have a dictionary of different HR terms, how to handle it. There's also an HR person that we can consult with through that app that will tell you basically at the minute. So if an employee is experiencing something um, and you're not sure quite how to handle it, you go through and they're actually certified through SHRM, which is the basically a huge uh, HR organization that is certified basically. So all of the stuff that we do through HR will help you with any kind of okay. grievances or bad problems you may have. You can consult them and that's part of those services. Okay. Yeah. Good. So how does everything sound? Is that something that you'd be interested Sounds in? Sounds reasonable. Okay. And so is there anything else holding you back from possibly well, doing? Well, I've got to run this by my wife. Okay. And I also have, there's a guy I play golf with every week and he works for paychecks. Okay. I, and I, at least, at the very least, I owe him a conversation because I've known him for five years. Right. <laughs> I can understand that. So I'm, I'm hearing you say that your wife would definitely need to be involved. Yeah. So I, I don't make these decisions without her. Okay. So contingent of her kind of getting to sit down with mm -hmm. me as well with the two of us and having a discussion on this, would you be willing to meet with me maybe again next Wednesday? Uh, Tuesday or Wednesday would actually work. Okay. That sounds great. So can we put you down for Wednesday around 2 o'clock? Uh, hold on. Let me check schedule. Okay. <laughs> um, could you do 1.30? Uh, yeah. Actually, we could do 1.30. Okay, good. 1.30 Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, here at the office, I'll have Ellen here and we can talk about this. Perfect. Before. And so I'll go ahead and leave this with you and leave Very that with good. you as well so she can kind of see some of the information Very before good. we return. Right. She can kind of look over all, all that stuff. What we're looking at is this right here yes, or right this there. right here. Mm -hmm. Depending and on what service times two per month, correct? Per month, yes, because okay, you're great. doing the bi weekly. I'll pass that on yeah. to her. Great. So Definitely. it was so wonderful meeting with you today. I appreciate your time. No, no, it was great. I appreciate it. Thanks for telling me so much. It really yeah. is uh, very interesting. And I look forward to speaking with you and your wife next Good. week. We'll see you next week. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Perfect. Why don't you stop that? Um, let's see.